Amen. Keep on going, brother. Man. So after you did Hallelujah. that, you're controlling now the neighborhood, you're yes. controlling families. Mm -hmm. The family. You, uh, through this year, and the, you are high priest. A high priest. High, I was a general in the kingdom of darkness. I would sit with the devil like I'm sitting with you, Pastor Matthew, and I would speak to the, to the devil face to face all night long and take the assignment he wanted me to do, and I write them down. It, 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 it's an amazing thing. I, 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 I said, I said this, I, I, if I told you I was going to kill you with witchcraft in 30 days, prepare, prepare your will because you was going to die in 30 days. The only person that was able to save you was Jesus Christ because I was going to destroy you. Because he destroyed death. He and, destroyed oh, death when oh, he yeah. rose again. Yeah, when he rose again. If you had, it, 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 I, I, let me show you one thing. I, put, I, I, I got hired to kill this Christian lady, right, to witchcraft. And, and, and the lady, I didn't know she was a Christian. So she told me, the, the lady said, how much you going to charge me? I said, I charge you 10 grand to kill her, to witchcraft. And then the lady came back, the lady said, but by the way, uh, she was leaving my apartment. We made the contract. She was leaving my apartment. And she said, uh, I, she said, well, by the way, she's a Christian. I said, I kill her for free. Here's your money. I said, I don't want your money. I kill her for free because I wow. hate Christians. Wow. So I, I bought a coffin. I bought 21 candles because the devil works with the number 21. Come 21 on. That's why he held Daniel's whoa, prayer whoa, for 21 whoa, whoa. days. Slow down. Slow down there, brother. <laughs> Slow down. The devil works in 21. Explain. Yeah, explain. There's 21 rows to the dark side. The devil works with the number 21. The 666 is a system. So the devil works with 21. If you be, that's why we have to fast 21 days in, the, in January so we can take over the rest of the territory in the, new, in the year. Right? So, then, so if the devil works to 21, Daniel pray. He said, beloved, I heard you pray the first day, but 21 days, the prince of Persia held your blessing. Yeah, he had to, he had to unlock the unlock, second heaven. Right. Oh, oh, Jesus. And that's it. So the bottom line is the devil works to 21. So I bought 21 candles. I washed his funeral till the lady died. 21 days went by, 30 days went by, 40 days, 45 days went by. And then the lady that came back, she was saying, uh, she's not dead yet. She's not dead yet. And I said, I said, thank God I didn't take her money. I was saying to myself, because then I had to give a refund. <laughs> I had to give a refund. <laughs> Boy, you washed under the blood of so, Jesus Christ. So, so, so hey, hey, this, is, this is amazing grace. Amazing grace. One day I'm sitting down watching TV. The devil shows up in my house, and we have to abort the mission of the lady we're trying to kill. I said, why? My reputation is on the line. He said, how God said, leave her alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again. How God <laughs> said that. She said, the devil told me, her, her God. Her God. Said. Leave her alone. You are, you are, you are, I'm trying to tell you, you are the anointed. The enemy can't touch you. Amen. When you under the blood of Jesus Christ, this is a high priest talking to you over the phone. Ex-high priest. Jesus. Ex-high priest. <laughs> Ex-high priest. Jesus. He's washing the blood. I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all, I'm excited. Amen. I'm excited about this. Keep on going, This brother. is real. You know, you know and, and the, 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 the sad thing is that I come over to this side with the Lord Jesus Christ, no regrets. I'm living my purpose, my destiny. I'm not a surviving Christian. And I'm saying, where's the church? Come on, say no, that again. No, I, I see now why it was so easy for me to fragment Christians in the spirit realm and take over their purpose and their destiny and recruit them to the dark side and, and dismantle them. When I see now, I'm on this side, I said, now I know the reason why. Because the church is not teaching spiritual warfare. The church is not teaching how to save your marriage. The church is not teaching how to break generational curses. The church, I, I didn't graduate from college, but I broke that curse. My daughter got a degree. Wow. I, I, got, I, got, I got a degree to her eyes. This is my kid. So, so, so how is it that, that, that today, if Christ died for me and he died to set me free, why am I bound? Why do I got tormenting spirit? Why if I have the mind of Christ, my mind is being tormented or being scorned by the devil? Why is it my body belong to the temple of the Holy Spirit? Why my body has sickness, cancer? Why do I have diabetes? Why, do I have, why am I bipolar? when I have the mind of Christ. So why these things are happening? Because the church is not teaching my hands to war. Mm. I wish the devil show up here right now with your power. I'm not afraid. I fear Jesus Christ and him alone. So I'm, I'm a product of a mess that God took and made a testimony out of. And hell is real, it's an address. <laughs> Hell is real. Don't stop, brother. You, hell, you, you hell, keep hell, on going. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. What would, what, I, I went to bed in 1999, October. I, first of all, I went to a meeting. A high, we, we had meetings the first, the, first month of, the, first, the first week of December. All 17 high priests that run the regions. We get together. We have a meeting. Which, which principality are we going to usher from one region to another to take over to control the regions? Because we usher one and bring one in. 
So we had this meeting that we was preparing to, to usher one principality out of one region and, and bring the other to have control and power. So we had this meeting. I'm sitting at the meeting, but I'm, I'm, I'm drained at the meeting because I, I'm falling in love with Jesus, but I, I'm falling in love with a name, but I've never seen him. But I sat with the devil for 25 years, so I have a commitment to the dark side because now I'm betwixt two worlds. So I'm sitting in this meeting and asking myself, why am I here? And, 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 and the principality that's supposed to take over the region comes down to the person as a medium. And he said, he talks to me in a demonic language. He speaks in demonic tongues. So I knew the demonic tongue. He tells me, my son, could I say something to you? And I said, I said, what is it, father? And he said, let me say something to you. I said, sure. He said, you know what Jesus, what, you know what God throws out of heaven? Because he was jealous of us. Be careful. So this is a demonic principality, principality speaking to you. Speaking to a body, speaking to me to tell me that God threw them out of heaven because they were jealous of them. So it's looking for expression. So the second heaven comes through expression to express itself on the third heaven and through you and telling you what Jesus did. What, G, what, G, what, 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 what Jesus exposed, what Jesus uh, got them out of heaven, threw them out of heaven. So, so that day after the meeting was over, uh, I was like drained. I, I walked home that day. My, my, the, 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 there were worshipers that went to the meeting. They were saying, hey, John, if you want, we'll, we'll, we'll drive you home. It's cold outside. It was like 15 degrees. And I lived in New York City. I said, no, I, I walk home. So I, I didn't feel no cold, no nothing. I walk home. I'm like, like a little boy walking home, my hands in my pocket, my hood over my head like a little boy walking home. I said, but if Jesus threw it on the mound, that means Jesus is stronger. In my mind. Come on. I was 30-something years old when that happened. I'm 51 today. So I'm saying, if Jesus threw them out, then, then if, heaven is, if, it, if, it's, if heaven's that good, why didn't he throw Jesus out and took over heaven? Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I'm trying to figure out my demonic mind. In my mind, that was very, my mind was so fragmented. My mind was so, I didn't have a soul. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a conscience because I, I did witchcraft on people. I, did, I, I broke marriages in witchcraft because I got paid. I gave people abortion. Uh, because I got paid to get people abortion. I, I, I put people in ICUs because I got paid. I put people in nut houses and make them lose their mind so they can go to these places and lose their mind and lose their purpose then lose their way to the cross. I did demonic stuff beyond you can imagine. I did stuff so demonic that the Lord said, I forgive you for that, but you can't write it on a book. Wow. I will astro project. I had more mileage than, than, than any airplane, any airline you can imagine. <laughs> I would even astro project during the day. Well, you got to explain astro project, brother. Because we got people, we got millions of people watching. They want to know what Astro Project is. I mean, it, it, it's when you leave your body attached to a demon, and then you go with the power of the demon, and you curse the region. And you're trying to tell me this ain't real. I'm trying to tell you this thing is real. That's, but the church, the church is asleep because we're preaching people happy, like I was telling pastor, but Jesus. we're not preaching people free. And I'm not blaming, I'm, I'm talking about the corporate church. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to call a name Make here Make it plain, brother. The corporate church. You know, how is it that you're going to, my marriage is falling apart, my kids on drugs. I'm sick. I love Jesus. And there's no hope for my and life. And I'm supposed to be representing and, and, the church. Right. And then I come to church and you're preaching me about how happy my life's supposed to be. What about the demon that's attacking my house? Do you see him as a pastor? Do you have discernment? Do you see that demon that's attacking my house? How can we get rid of him? And then I can be free and then I can be happy. Jesus says you come into the house and you bind the strong man first. Exactly. You bind the strong man. You break the legal rights. You ah. separate one from another. Ah. You send civil one to the enemy's camp. You confuse their language so they will not communicate. You shut down the second and first heaven so they won't get their orders. And you paralyze that demon that is trying to abuse and afflict you. You paralyze that demon with the blood of Jesus. You break every legal rights and you, now you're free. And now you fill your house with the Holy Spirit. And you can only do that through the power of the word of Jesus Christ. So how is it that we have this in the, in, in the Word? Two things that say, the Word that say, for many wonderful things the Word of God say, the demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Uh. The Word says, I teach your hands to war. So why am I defeated? Not because of God. It's because who's, who's, who's not teaching me? A lack of knowledge. Come A lack on. of knowledge. People perish. You can't blame God for your situation. If they, if your pastor maybe needs deliverance. You better say that again. You better say it again. Say it in that camera right there. Your pastor needs what? Deliverance. Jesus, Father, I'm deliver a delusional us. and the, the dearest spirit he's on and not preaching truth to set the captives free. My God, my God. And, and I, I, got none, I, love, I, I, I love the body of Christ. I get emails from churches that are all known saying, please let my pastor come here. 
because we depress. So, so I want to I want to go back to so you in New York City. You leaving that meeting. You got your hoodie on. You're walking in 15 degree weather, mm -hmm. and you're walking home. Walking and home. what happens? And you find out that okay. So I, what? I'm asking myself. Then so then I have a meeting with the I I, I call the meeting with with the, with one, the person that's in charge of the region of that region of New York City. I call a meeting because I'm I'm supposed to get a report card every six months. Hmm. You're supposed to send in the presence of the devil. He gives you a report card every six months. And if you're failing, you got 30 days to fix it. Or, or you, get, you, get, you get either the, the devil takes you out or he'll take the loved one out. I was going to take a sabbatical one day because I wanted to be a good father to my daughter. Because I, was, I had a lot of broken promises with my daughter. Because I was so sold out to the dark side that I didn't have time for my daughter. And I took a sabbatical. I said, I'm not going to ask the devil anything. I'm going to take a sabbatical. The devil stole my eyesight for one year. I was registered with the Commission of the Blind in New York State, legally blind for one year. I still didn't get a chance to see my daughter because she stole my eyesight. I didn't, I didn't want my daughter to see me in that condition. I sold my soul to the devil for $3,500. I could have bought me a used car. <laughs> when salvation is free. So how did you do that? Hmm? You sold your soul to the devil for $3,500. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, the, the $3,500 is the initiation of the respect to bring, to bring uh, the, the high priest in into the meeting that I was in. The meeting I was in was 17 people came to that meeting to sell their soul to the devil that night. And I was the only one that got the mark carved into my flesh to be the high rank high priest. Carved into my flesh. And if I take my shirt off, you see my marks here. That I, when I sold my soul at midnight, the devil came, signed, signed the contract with my blood. He gave me a new name. Like when Daniel went into, into Babylon, yeah, he gave yeah, him yeah. a new name, yeah. right? A new identity. So he gave me a new name, and I operate on that name. I don't operate on the John Ramirez until Jesus showed up and gave him back my name. Are you listening to that? So he gets a new name when he's entering into the Satan's kingdom. That's why he says, I've made you a new creature. When you come into the kingdom of God, he makes you a new creature. All, all things are passed away. All things. All, all, all things, things are passed everything. away. Wow, and they had to be a blood covenant that a you made. A blood covenant you made, and then they bring, a, they bring a human skull. You kiss the human skull. That means that's the pact between you and the dead, between you and the dark side. You make that, and then you move up the ranks. And I moved up the ranks so high, there was another ceremony. I had $100,000 worth of witchcraft in my house. I had human bones. I had everything you can imagine. I was destroying Christians from left to right. I knew, I knew the secrets of the kingdom of darkness like no one ever done it before. I see people write books. A spiritual warfare. You tell me about spiritual warfare, but you're not teaching me how to fight. Jesus. <laughs> you, it's like doing surgery. I, I, I cut you open, but I'm not closing you up. So how do I fight that devil that shows up in my house at 3 in the morning when my room goes come cold? Come on now, come and on. And my blood goes cold and I can't scream the name of Jesus. It, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. That it, 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 it boggles my mind. I, I, it, it just boggles my mind is that, you know what? We have everything in Christ. The book of, the, uh, you mentioned the book of Hebrews. Heaven moved by faith alone. Right. Nothing moves heaven but faith. Mm -hmm. Hebrews so, 11. So, so, so how is it that God says to you, I give you a faith of a size of a mustard seed. And you can't move that devil out the way. God said you can move a mountain out the way with the size of the faith I've given you. And you can't take that faith and put it against that devil with the spiritual warfare that the church needs to be teaching you and we move all these opticals out the way. Yeah, there's trials, there's testing. Jesus, there's the glory. Jesus went up to the glory with, with his disciples. Right. But after the glory was gone, he said, we got to go down and fight that devil, save that kid. Come on. We have to go down to the valley. I, don't, I like the mountaintop once in a while. I like to go on vacation once a year, but I want to be at the valley. I Come want to on. be where the action is at. I yeah. want to be fighting. I want, to, I want believers. I do deliverance for people all over the world. I just did a deliverance for God Japan. I don't even speak Japanese. Jesus. I, I, I like Japanese food, but yeah. I don't speak Japanese. I got into breaking things off him. He went to a hotel because he didn't want his family to know. Everything broken. He, he came back. He wrote me a letter saying, from, from Japan, he wrote a letter saying, thank you. I can have my family back. I am free today. Because the power, the power of Jesus Christ is